Uh, is it just me? Yeah, is it just me? Is this sex? Hey babes, so today I woke up this morning and I was just like, I feel like playing with some makeup. So I did this makeup look. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I wouldn't even get close and show you guys this eyeshadow because I do not do eyeshadow. But I was just like, if I'm playing, let me just go the whole, I'm going to do it all. And then I realized that I have a video to make for you guys today because it's Wednesday. So I'm going to show you guys um, just my makeup haul. And it's not just makeup because I did not get like a lot, a lot of makeup. But I got a lot of like, I don't know, like girly fashion-y things. So I'm just going to show you guys everything. So it's going to be some makeup, um, some lipstick, some nail polishes, and just anything that I see around on my little makeup setup here that is new. So um, I'm going to start with foundation because I actually got a brand new foundation. I've never tried this foundation before. And this, like, oh my gosh, the, the thing is peeling off already. But it is the Black Radiance Color Perfect Oil Free Liquid Makeup. And it's just like this. I told you guys like the, the labeling or whatever is peeling off. And this is in the color Rum Spice. But I also did get a second one. And this one is in the color Cashmere. And the two of these together make like the perfect shade for me. This is a touch too light and this is really, really too dark. But um, half and half gives me the perfect shade. And so this, I really, really like this foundation. When I bought this, I was just like, oh, you know, it's always good to have like a drugstore foundation. For times like this when you want to play but this is really really good foundation and this is something that i've never seen before usually all my foundations have like the mac foundations i have have the pump and then i have the maybelline fit me which is just like the top and you pour it out but this has this like makeup spatula thing this that i've never seen before so i just use this and i'm just like swiping all over with the spatula and so I really, really like this. It blends beautifully. It has, it. I don't think, it's build, it is buildable, of course, because it's foundation. But um, I don't have to build with it. I just go once and that's it. But then I, I don't really go for like perfect skin. If you can see my acne scars through my makeup, I don't care. It's not just me. So yeah, I got foundation. I also replenished my MAC foundation, but I don't know where to put it because I put everything up already. So I have this black, the two black radiance foundations. And I keep looking in the viewfinder. I have no idea why. Because I can't get away. I have on makeup. But yeah. The two black radiance foundation, black radiance foundations, and the MAC foundation. And then I bought this, like, to-go makeup bag. What's it called? It's called the train case. The train case. And this just has all my makeup in it. I had a like um, I had a clear makeup bag, but it just could not hold everything. Like it couldn't close, and so I had to buy this one. It's a lot bigger. It holds a lot more. So all of my, you guys, all of my everything fits in here. My wipes and everything fit in here. So it's just super super convenient. So next, um, my mom actually talked me into buying these two. I just put this back. These two like eyeshadow things because like I told you guys I don't do eyeshadow like I am a baby beginner when it comes to eyeshadow so I got these and this is from the brand clean color clean color and it's the blink and bold this one is the matte shadow palette oh they're both matte but they have glitters in them I don't know but these are the matte shadow palette like I said my mother talked me to getting these because she does eyeshadow, and I I guess I should, if I wanted to make up, I should learn how to do eyeshadow. Should learn. But, um, yeah, got those two. I was talked into getting those two. And so now I can show you guys nail polish. So I have a few, a few new ones. And so these are all the Wet n Wild Wild Shine nail polishes. And I got three of these. This one is in the color... Blaze, which is what I'm wearing right now. This one is oh, great minds think alike. Great minds think alike. And this last one is lavender creme. So I bought these three. Was it wet and wild nail polishes? And I also got this nail polish from Kiko, 
well, I didn't buy this. My um, cousin bought this for me when she went to Fort Lauderdale. So she bought me this from Kiko and does this have a name? I don't think it has a name. It just says number 38. Yeah, so number 38 from Kiko. Um, of course, of course, you always have to replenish liquid lipstick. So I got these two from MAC. Always have to replenish that. And then, of course, I got a brown eyebrow pencil because I love my eyebrows. And I got a black pencil, I believe. And those are the two new pencils. Now, lipsticks. Bought a few new lipsticks. Um, I'm actually wearing two of them right now. It's like a purple and a red. So I'm going to start with those two. So the purple that I'm wearing is Cherry Bomb. From Wet n Wild. So Wet n Wild was getting me this summer. And this is how it looks. Let's blow it up for you guys to see. Cherry Bomb. And then the second one I have is Cherry Picking. Cherries. Cherry Picking. And this one is a really, really nice, like, pinky red shade. I really like this. Gotta make sure I put them back in carefully. And then the next Wet n Wild color I have is Hot Paris Pink. Mm. And this one, I was actually surprised because it looks like it'll come out really opaque. But it's a really sheer kind of glossy color. It's um, a lot more glossy compared to how these two come out. They come out really opaque. Um... I have uh, two other liquid, like not liquid lips. I have two other lipsticks that I got from New York, but I, my, for some reason, my New York haul video was just like not working. So I'll just show you guys the two colors now. These are both hard candy, um, lippies and they're both matte. So this is the first one and this is Venom. I forgot how you turn it up. Oh, okay. This is Venom. I love this. This is like a purpley brown color. It's really, really deep. And I love it. And then this one is Wisteria by Hard Candy, once again. And it's more of a nice, light, bright purple. And this one is, I think this one is a lip stain. But they're both matte. So, yeah. I actually think that's all I have in terms of makeup that I just recently bought. Um, oh wait, you know, one more thing. One more thing. I got these shades and I don't usually order like shades and stuff off of Amazon, but it's this one company that I, the only company that I will buy shades or like, like something like that. I, I buy a lot of stuff off Amazon, but I don't usually buy shades and like things like that. But uh, last summer, I ordered three shades from this company called Zero UV on Amazon. Um, I can I can link the the link to their Amazon down below. But um, I ordered three shades last summer, and I ordered gold, black, and gunmetal. I have the two here, and the other one is in my purse because I wear it all the time. So I ordered these. And I just love them. And so I went back on their Amazon page this summer. I mean, not on their Amazon page, but I went on Amazon to look for more shades. And they had a beautiful pair of, like, gold um, pink mirror lens shades. And I had to get them. And so, the last thing I want to show you guys are these pink and gold mirror lens shades from Zero UV. I love these shades. These are so gorgeous to me. And then pink is my favorite color, so the mirror lens is just beautiful. But I love them. I love how, like, they cover my eyebrows. I don't know if that's, like, something a lot of people look for in shades, but I just love how they cover my eyebrows. Whereas the first three shades that I bought, I can show you guys. I'll put this one up. The first three don't cover as much as that one. And then that one is just gorgeous. See? Like, these are okay. I love these shades, too, but it's just that one covers my eyebrows, and it's pink. And these shades have like these things and, and these can come off like I could just pull this off I'm not going to but I could whereas these shades. It's just a straight like straight gold Of course, I know it's not real gold, but it's just like straight 
it's nothing that I can pull off or anything like that. And these zero UV shades have UV 400 protection. And so these are really good. I love, love, love these shades. Um, this is not a sponsored video or anything. I just really, really love these shades. And I trust this company. I trust this brand. Those shades are really, really sturdy. They can last a really long time. Um, the lenses aren't scratch resistant or anything like that. I do have like scratches and stuff on my lens. But when you put them on, you don't even notice the scratches. Like it's like they're not even there. So yeah, I love these shades. I love, love, love these shades. And I always buy them in bulk because I know how I go with these kind of things. I'm not the best at taking care of things. So I buy them in multiples and yeah oh one last thing i keep saying one last thing but this summer i also got my eyes checked and now i have to wear glasses and so i wanted to show you guys one of the pairs of glasses that i got um where did i get what did i get my i got my glasses and my eyes checked at vision marks i believe and so these are harley davidson lenses i mean not lenses frames and so i wear glasses now oh yeah i wear glasses now and i have I got two pairs the other pair I have put up just in case like these ones break or I do something I just have the other pair if I can get this open I just have the other pair so okay for sure for sure this is the end of the video um I guess I don't have really anything to say I will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow bye It's not, it doesn't come out like opaque like the, oh crap. Whew. They survived the fall.